Building for the future or respecting the current residents? That's the dilemma facing the Greenville City Council. A rezoning request turned into a disagreement last night at that meeting, prompting WNCT's Josh Birch to do a little more digging. He reports from Greenville. That is the history of Greenville, of development just supplanting people who live here. Molly Otis always knew there would be the possibility of development in these woods near her townhome, but never thought it would happen. Putting apartments on this building, on this, on this site, apartments, is not for Greenville. That's for money-making, profit-making. Jim Walker, representing Rivers and Associates, was at the meeting to request the zoning for more than seven acres of land along Clifton Street near Evans be changed to office residential. It would be an ideal position for a townhome, a condominium development. But what some were concerned about, the project would be another student housing facility full of parties, noise, and trouble. When it gets this close to the university, it you get college students that rent there. The Walker says not necessarily. If someone becomes a town and wants to go that far away from campus to put quote student housing, maybe take quite a risk. The council voted three to two against the rezoning request. Councilman McLean Godley tells me there's plenty of student housing already and the idea of yet another location wouldn't be wise. Another concern about the project is its close proximity to the Evans and Arlington intersection, which Greenville police say has been in the top 10 intersections for crashes in previous years. But Councilman Rick Smiley says moving forward, Greenville needs to become a more walkable community. This is the kind of growth we're, we're asking people to do, a new growth that takes advantage of the stuff we've already built. There's already a fire department for this, there's already a police department for this. Otis says people in Greenville need to be more wary about rezoning around them as development in the city moves forward. The time is now because we sure got sort of caught unawares of what was going on. In Greenville, Josh Birch, 9 Your Side. Greenville Mayor Alan Thomas says because the council voted against this request, he didn't think it could be brought back up for another six months.